wake up. Beth, stop playing. No trading snacks today. Maybe my cheese stick for Jamie's yogurt? Okay, but just not your sandwich. Oh. I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you there. That's <laughs> okay. Morning, Mr. Kendall. Hey, buddy. Mr. Kendall, you're Mr. Kendall? Yeah. I, I expected somebody different. Well, uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But yes, I am him. Grayson Kendall. Nice to meet you. Okay, honey, you go on. I'll see you after school, okay? Hey, I love you. I love you too. Mwah. I'll see you in the classroom, Mr. Kendall. Sounds good, buddy. You know, Ash is, is really excited to have you as his new teacher. He talks a lot about you at home. Hi. Oh, Mrs. Helms. You're head of the PTA, correct? Yes. Well, I just volunteered to be your new teacher advisor. Really? Mrs. Jenkins thought it'd be a great way for me to get to know all the parents. Uh, she suggested I contact you about your upcoming meeting. Oh, yeah, we uh, have one tomorrow afternoon. Great, I'll see you then. Mrs. Helms. Oh, you can call me Lily. Lily. Uh, like the flower. You know, I, I should get going. Uh, it was nice to meet you, Mr. Kendall. Grayson. Right, Mr. Grayson. Have a nice day. What peanut? Man, I'd hate to be you. Well, allergies are a very serious thing. I have now implemented a strict no peanut, no soy, no gluten policy in our house. That way, Brittany is covered. Sorry about that. I just had to call work and let them know I got a new listing. So, where are we at? What did I miss? Ah, uh, you didn't miss anything, I promise. Go to work. And miss the gossip? No way. This single mom needs as much excitement as she can get, okay? Speaking of which, did you hear who the new PTA teacher advisor is? I did. Couldn't you just rip that preppy little sweater vest right off of him? Settle down, single mom. He's too young for you. But for me, not so much. <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but he's likely looking for a wife to settle down with, not, not a... Not a what? Used good single mom? It's not what I was going to say. Right. Moms with loose childbearing vajayjays and milk-providing boobs. What young man wouldn't want that, huh? <laughs> he's coming tomorrow. Ooh, I'll bring my glasses, get a better look. <laughs> In your dreams, maybe. <laughs> Peter! Peter? Hey, Lily, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Thanks for asking. Why are you dressed? Work. Work. You just got home from work. Don't start, Lily. Oh, don't be like that. Like I told you, it's going to be long hours and lots of travel just until this deal gets done. Ash, come and say hello and goodbye to your father. He's uh, leaving for work. Ash! It was an accident, Dad. I didn't mean to. How many times do I have to tell you, you have to be careful around my computer? <laughs> Ash hasn't seen you in two full days. And the first thing you do is snap at him. I have important stuff in there. You have important stuff in this house, specifically a seven-year-old boy who needs his father. That's not fair. Oh, oh it's not fair. <laughs> Who's that? It's Jane. Oh, Jane. Jane the assistant, right? Yeah, I asked her to pick me up. Oh, of course you did. Why? <sighs> She's coming with us. We have a 7 o'clock meeting in Detroit. Look, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm sorry.
Once the website's up, we'll be able to reach the parents a lot easier. And also keep the PTA file updated on all the meeting notes. That should help with the organization of the bake sale. Well, I just have to say, you put Mrs. Williams to shame. The most she contributed was stories of people passing gas in the teacher's break room. <laughs> well, I'll do my best. Ah, and thank you for letting me use your computer, Lily. So, tell us about yourself. You're, uh, not wearing a ring, so you're clearly not married? Uh, uh, no. Oh, that is beautiful. That means eternity, right? Yeah, it does. Family heirloom? Yeah. Kind of. You know, something like that. So how do you like it here? Has anyone shown you around? I haven't really had much time to do any socializing. Allie here is actually a very successful realtor. She's out and about all the time. So if you need a great guy, she's more than willing to show you around. I have a sitter till 11 p.m. Thanks, uh, but uh, I'm actually just focusing on my work right now. Uh, speaking of which, I have to get back to the classroom to grade some papers. So. Uh, thank you for the meeting. It was, it was great. Thank you for your contribution towards our parent-teacher organization. And on behalf of all the Brunch Elementary PTA, may this be your official welcome. Now, I'll go over the site with you on Sunday, but I'm hoping that all of our children's allergies will be updated. Well, goodbye, Mr. Kendall. Thank you. Smart and handsome, what a catch. Just listen to us. We're all trying to be MILFs. Not trying. We are MILFs. And this single mother can definitely get Mr. Kendall. Thank you. Well, uh, don't be upset if he accidentally calls you mom. <laughs> there it is. PTA agenda. Grayson D. Kendall. D stands for delicious, I assume. Look at that. He already listed you as a PTA chairperson. Oh, and he just posted that he needs all of the nutrition facts to put up on the site. That's our in. Our in, I, yeah. Mom, when is Dan gonna be home? He said he would take me to the aquarium today. Tonight, honey. Ellie and I'll be done soon, and then we'll go. Just go upstairs and pack your bag in, and don't forget your sun hat. Yes. All right, so here's the plan. You're gonna tell him that I organized the nutrition facts and suggest that uh, he and I have a meeting. Alone. At night, if you get my drift. Yeah, I'd look, I don't know, I... What the hell is that? It's the Amber Alert. Peter installed it on my computer. Okay, right? yeah, make it stop. You put an Amber Alert on your computer? Yeah, he also got me pepper spray and it's in my purse and car. Pepper spray, mm -hmm. Amber Alert, a little paranoid? <laughs> Mom, you ready? Are you okay? Yeah. I'll let you guys go. I, I gotta get out of here anyway. Frankie's got a soccer game. Hey, don't forget about the setup. Right, set up. All right, see you, babe. Awesome robot toy things. <laughs> I'll go get my bag. All right. It's an ancient human practice that masks be worn during feasts or wars of passion. Each of the children are making one. Kids are just fascinated with them. Interesting. Well, you're a big hit. I mean, Ash is really into it. Well, I try. It's important to add fun elements to help propel the education. Oh. It was an accident. I'm sorry, Mr. Kendall. It's okay, bud. Hey, I'm not mad. Mom, can I go to the hall to talk to Jamie? Sure, buddy. Just, I'll meet you at the entrance, okay? You're really good with kids, Grayson. Honestly, it's a 
It's a breath of fresh air. Ever thought about having any kids of your own? Yes. I should go. I'll see you soon, Lily. See you soon, Grayson. I know I just called. Um, Peter Helms? Yeah, could you just try again? <laughs> Look, I know there's no answer. I, uh... Um, could you try Jane Hills? Sorry to bother you. Thought you might need this. Uh, right. You left it at the school. I, I got your address from one of the files. Figured you might need this over the weekend. Yeah, um, I really appreciate that. I uh, got caught in a little rain shower. Do you want to uh, come in and, and dry off? Sure. The bathroom's right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Do you want me to put that in the dryer? Uh, yeah, sure. Sentence. Very interesting. My uh, husband thinks I'm boring reading philosophical books. I think they're interesting. How could you ever be boring? That's what he says. You want to talk about it? Talking to someone always helped me. He's, um, he's out of town. It's okay, Lily. I, uh, I think that he. 
he's having an affair. Where's Ash? He's uh, at my mom's dinner and a movie sleepover. Do you want um, some tea or coffee? Sure, yeah, that would uh, be nice. This song. Yeah, me too. Dance? No, I uh, can't dance. Everyone can dance. You don't have to go. Yes, I do. My flight leaves in an hour. Jane's going, right? Oh, come on, Lily. You're being silly. Am I? I could have mistaken it for being depressed, lonely, and confused. OK, I don't have time for this right now. You need to take a breath and relax. <laughs> I'll call you from the airport. Honey? Peter, did you forget something? I didn't mean to 
scare you. you th what about knocking? <laughs> Mothers shouldn't have to knock on their daughter's door. Oh, is that so? Goodness, look at you. You look just like you did when you were 16. And I'd come into your bedroom uninvited. Yeah, while well, I was writing love letters and... My hopeless romantic. Grandma! Oh! Mm. Let's go get ice cream! With extra hot fudge. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, it's, uh, it's just from the PTA stuff. Well, I'm already taking Ash for ice cream. I can tuck him in. You can do PTA stuff if you need to. Say, when is Peter coming home? He's not. He's traveling, um, as always. Why don't you go get your jacket? If it makes you feel any better, your father was the same way. Always working. Nope. It's not making me feel any better. Well, see you later. Bye. What are you doing?
Grayson? 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 Hi, Mrs. Jenkins. I brought some leftovers from the bake sale. Sounds tasteful. <laughs> Just gonna put one in each of the teacher's cubbies. Say, I've been meaning to ask you, how is Mr. Kendall working out as your new advisor? Um, he's, he's really nice. He was quite eager to get involved. It's a great way for a new teacher to get to know everyone. It is. He actually mentioned you this morning that you personally have been more than welcoming. Really? Uh, he said that? He sure did. Hmm. Well, um, all of us have been really welcoming. Well, regardless, it's very nice of you. After all he's been through. Thank you for all your hard work, Lily. <laughs> Embarrassed of me? What? I overheard you with Mrs. Jenkins. No, it, it, it's principle. What are you doing? Leftovers from the bake sale, uh, one for each of the teachers. Sweet of you. We need to talk. It's just not me. I should get back to class. Right. Do you have a eight? Go fish. Who's it from, Mom? Nobody, honey. Come on, Mom. Can I just go play a video game? No, no. I want some ash time. Surprise. You nearly gave me a heart attack. You should have seen your face, Mom. I told you it would work, Dad. <laughs> yeah. You don't like it? It's Ash's from school. Yeah, I, of course. Yeah, Ash here has been working with me to make sure you didn't hear me sneak in the back door, right, buddy? Yep. Well, you guys really surprised me. Nice job. Uh, and I have Chinese food, haagen in the freezer, and a movie for you and me on video on demand. How's that sound? I, I uh, thought you were meant to be in Phoenix. No, we closed the deal this morning. Oh, yeah? And to be honest, I don't want to be around anyone from work for a solid month. 
I haven't been able to say anything, but Jane's pregnant, and she has been anything but pleasant to be around. Jane, as in um, Jane, your assistant Jane? <laughs> Topic of conversation, Jane? Yeah, honey, Jane. I don't understand. Well, what's to understand? And she's engaged to Jim, sweetheart. Jim? Yeah, that's why I had to hire her. You know, boss's girlfriend gets the perks, including first class travel. God, it has been insane. Why didn't you tell me? I mean, you knew what I was thinking, and I thought that you and her were. I know, I, 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 I don't know. I guess I, I liked, you know, having a jealous wife. <laughs> and let's be honest, it did make you miss me a little more. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab the plates. Why don't we have dinner around the table, huh? A family dinner? All right. I've really missed you. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, would you do me a favor and grab my bag from the car? I left it in the back seat. Sure. Thanks, babe. Thank you. I, uh, I really, I really missed you. So you got me flowers. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's so sweet. Well, it's funny. Come on, Lil. Let's dig in. Yeah. Come on, honey. Let's go. Courtney Brixton, late. This is the first. <laughs> no, I'm not late, Lily. Brittany's already in her class. I was just grabbing my file folder to propose a new agenda to the PTA ladies. A new PTA agenda. Uh, isn't that meant to go through me? I suck. What are you talking about? Mr. Kendall? You know what, Ash? I need to speak with Mrs. Brixton for a moment. Can you go play a game, honey? It's not like that. <laughs> I don't know what I saw, but I do know that your husband is a very nice man, and he deserves to know what kind of woman he married. Slow down, Mom. Come on, honey. Wait. Tardy again, Lily. Morning, Mr. Kendall. It's been a long morning. Say, why don't you head into the class and get started on your spelling worksheets? Is everything okay? You don't look well. No, not okay. You know, we need to talk. And this, you know what, this we needs to stop. I, and you gotta stop texting me. I'm sorry I'm not following. It's a mistake, Grayson. Look, I'm sorry you're confused. But Courtney Brixton, she, she knows. Did you hear me? Courtney? Yeah, Courtney. Brittany Brixton's mother. She threatened you. Yeah. 
kind of, you know what, she's, she's right. I'm in love with my husband, Grayson. As you should be. Oh, well, you should check out the new house then. How much? 400K. 2,000 square feet, huge yard, great for kids. Email me the listing. I'll show it to George. Sure thing. So I figured out why Mr. Kendall wasn't biting on my bait. Oh, well, do tell. Apparently, he has a girlfriend. A girlfriend? Hmm. Go ahead, Courtney, give us the lecture. You told us so. There's probably some hot young 20 something dying to get a ring on her finger. Where did you hear that? Apparently, he told Gracie that he has a lady of his own. Well, that's odd. I, I could have sworn Mrs. Jenkins said he was single. She said it with some certainty, too. Well, what, are you supposed to check with the school principal every time he wants to start dating? <laughs> Brittany! What happened? What happened, Mr. Kendall? Allergic reaction, Miss Brixton. An allergic reaction? This is unacceptable! Call my husband! Keep going, keep going! Drive! Okay, everybody get back to class. Excitement's over. I will suggest to Mrs. Jenkins that Brittany stays home for a few days and that Courtney minds her own business. With Brittany being sick and all. Um, I, I guess. Brittany, she'll be fine. She'll be back at school tomorrow. It's probably best, though, don't you think? I never really was a fan of Mrs. Courtney Brixton. Terrible about Brittany, though. Just like old times. You know, I'm not the sappy type, but I tried to get some romantic films. Um, no 3D, no explosions. Say something. It's perfect. What's up? Nothing. I, uh, just... Turning off my phone. I want some alone time with you. Oh, wow. I like the sounds of that. Uh, little guy doing his homework? Yeah, I've been bed. I'm gonna go and check on him in a sec. All right. Showtime. Oh, jeez. Oh, sorry. Babe, I gotta deal with this real quick. And then it's just me and you. Me and you. Hello? Trying to sneak out on me, are you? No, I, I just thought I s saw something. Gosh, stupid phone. 
I'm turning this thing off. Yeah. What's for dinner tonight? Pizza. Yeah! No pepperoni, though. No. You know what, Ash? Why don't you go back to the con? Daddy? Hey, there he is. Daddy! <laughs> you guys always this late? What are you doing here? Well, Mr. Kendall here was uh, kind enough to call me about the switch to the parent-teacher meeting, so... Uh, the meeting, I, I didn't get. Someone's phone must have been off. You mentioned that Peter would most likely be out of town for the parent-teacher interviews, so I made some time to meet with him this morning. Why don't you go on into class, buddy? Your mom and I will catch up with you later. I'll tell you, I am really glad to hear that he's doing so well. He certainly is really fond of you, Grayson. I hear your name a lot at home. Is that so? It sure is. <laughs> Thank you for watching the class. <laughs> uh, Peter and I were just talking about love. Yeah, <laughs> well, Grayson here is uh, quite a history buff. He was telling me all about ancient wars and Love and passion were usually at the core, and they wear masks. Yeah, Lily doesn't really like them too much. Isn't that right, Lil? No. No, I don't. Well, I better get back to class. I wouldn't want to pretend they aren't there or ignore them completely, now would I? It is nice to meet you, Mr. Kendall. You as well, Peter. Lily, always a sight for sore eyes. See you, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. I have really loved having you home and not traveling. I'm just happy that we finally reconnected. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna miss you. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you for understanding. I love you. Love you too. Awesome. I said, what, did you do anything fun? Yeah, Mr. Kendall, he told us this cool fairy tale. Ash, who gave you this? Mr. Kendall gave it to me. Cool, huh? <gasps> What's wrong, Mom? Did you take those flowers out of, out of the trash? No. Just stay there, Ash, okay? What are you doing here? Ladies night. Don't worry, I already called your mom. She's on her way over to watch Ash, you and me. We're hitting the town for a ladies night. But I wish you had called. I, I just really can't. I, I'm just, I just can't have him tonight. I'm not taking no for an answer. So you get that cute little tushy upstairs and get all dressed and pretty and meet me down here. You know, I, I really can't, I, I just. Go, come on. Overdressed. I mean, the earrings, it's just too much. Would you relax? Okay, you look hot. Besides, Peter would love you. Peter's out of town. Uh, reservation under Helms. Helms, what if, I, what if I didn't come? And leave your single gal pal to peruse the city alone? <laughs> you wouldn't do that to me. Peter? Welcome back. 
to date night. Beautiful wife. I wanted to surprise you. Uh, dinner, hotel, maybe a little privacy later. <laughs> Did he set you up to this? Eh, kind of. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I figured it was a perfect way to do a double date. A double date? Ellie. Really? So I've been in the real estate business for a while now. I've been killing it for the last five years, so it's been good. So, uh, where did you say you moved from? Just a little town close by. It's not far. Small town boy. Oh, I always did like me, a small town boy. <laughs> uh, if you'd excuse me, I need to go to the restroom. Let's ditch these guys and get out of here. You have had me at my wits end all night. I am dying to get that dress off. I'll let it just be another minute, sweetheart. I'm just gonna take a leak. Let's get out of here soon, okay? Love you. I love you too. I love you. I am married. There is no us. You have to there is only us. You're my wife. Your memory. You're my flower. Forever and always. You are not listening! There is no us! Now just stop and leave me alone! So, let me get this straight. You want to transfer Ash from Mr. Kendall's class? Yes, from Grayson's class. Do you have a problem with that? Mr. Kendall. Yes, Mr. Mr. Kendall's. That, that's what I said. No, you said his first name, Grayson. And you want to do this why? I, I can't explain why right now. I just want to move. And I want to move today. Well, maybe you should read this. I haven't had a chance to speak with Mr. Kendall about this yet, but Courtney Brixton submitted it on behalf of the PTA. She said she saw you sexually harass him. No. I do like you, Lily. I do. But as of this moment, you are no longer a member of the PTA, nor are you chair of it. Go home, Mrs. Helm. So, did you have sex with them? Did you? Are you going to let me explain, or are you going to stand here and berate me? I'm listening. The PTA meeting, I left my computer. He came to the house and dropped it off. OK. I was mad at Peter, and I don't know, we 
didn't have sex. But, um... Okay, so you didn't have sex. I'm sorry, Lil, I'm not following. Look, I know you wanted me to... to... to set him up with you. I... He sent me a message with a key to a motel. A motel? Yeah, a motel. <laughs> Look, he can't take no for an answer. He wears these weird masks. He, he gave one to Ash and, and, and the necklace. Like, in the restaurant, in the bathroom, he called me Rose. In the bathroom? Yes. Weird masks, Lily? I mean, calling you Rose? I'm not lying, Ellie. I need help. Yes, you do need help, okay? You need to see a psychiatrist or something. Peter? Peter, I need to tell you something. Ellie? <gasps> Honey, what's going on? Peter, you, you don't. Hey, okay. morning. What are you doing here? I came for you. Well, for Ash, really, right? But Grayson here was generous enough to offer to tutor Ash in math. It's a nice shirt. I swear I have a shirt like that. Leave. You need to get out right now. Hey, listen, I know you had a tough day, but Grayson is not the one to blame here. What are you talking about? I should go. Seems like right now might not be the best time. I'm sorry I upset you. Peter. Come on! Don't be like that, Lily. He's what not a... What did tell you? What did he explain things to Mrs. Jenkins? He explained things? Courtney didn't realize that it was Ellie, not you. And that she was wrong accusing you. And to be honest, I think Mrs. Jenkins is overstepping her principal duties. Grayson should be able to date whoever he wants. That's what he said? Yeah. He's a good guy. No! What? I saw him. He, he keeps tormenting. Who? He keeps the mask. Grayson, he, he, okay, he keeps... Lily. Lily. What's going on? I saw him in the window. He... Okay, 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 but... He was watching us. Just calm down, okay? I'm gonna call your mom. I'm gonna go get Ash. I... I need to tell you something. Okay, all right, that's fine. But first, I want you to go upstairs, take a shower, calm down. When I get home, we'll talk. Yeah. Okay? Okay, go back. Oh, hey there. I'm the new real estate agent for the listing. So much for warm neighbors.
Reminder to turn on electricity before showing. Hello? Somebody here? It was the little girl. <gasps> oh, you scared me. Her daddy made them for her. Odd thing to give a little girl, if you ask me. Her name was Beth. Such a sweet little girl. It's only about five when it happened. So sad. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Carbon monoxide detectors. Oh, come with me. None of them worked. Not that one. <sighs> now that is what you've got to be sure to get fixed if you want to sell it. I'm not following. They died because of it. The indicator wasn't loud enough. Carbon monoxide poisoning. That is why no one wants to buy it. I mean, who wants to live in a house where a mother and daughter died? I, I had no idea. I mean, I, it wasn't anywhere in my paperwork. <laughs> I'm not surprised. What, did you know them well? Oh, sure. Beth was just such a sweet little girl. And Rose, what a beauty. And she was a great mom, just a lovely young lady. Rose? Yeah, like the flower. But her favorite flower was the lily. And David would buy a bunch for her every week. It was sweet, really. David was her husband? Yeah. David didn't take it well, as you can imagine. I mean, he was just so in love with them. Their, their deaths just devastated him. I mean, frankly, he kind of lost it altogether, to be honest. Anyway, one day, he just up and left. Just left everything here. You might want to have a look through here. I don't think it's good energy having personal things in the house. Who knows? You may find something in there useful for you. This is, this is property tax. Was this their second home? I'm not sure. Oh, I think they had a cabin, come to think of it. What happened to him, David, do you know? I don't know. I think he just decided it would be easier to start over somewhere else. There were suspicions he had something to do with it. With their deaths? Yeah, the deaths. But I didn't buy it anyway. There was no proof. And he just loved them too much to do anything so evil. Oh, good luck selling it. You're the fourth agent they've had. <laughs>
doing? I could be asking you the same thing. What are you doing? Look, Ali, I'm just trying to find something, anything. Just, I want him to stop. I mean, look, you've got to believe me. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I believe you, okay? I do. You're not going crazy. Look, the previous owner of the house that I'm selling, his name was David Grayson Kendall. He had a daughter named Beth and a wife named Rose. Rose? He, he's married? They died. What? I mean, what's going on, Ellie? I don't know. But you need to get home. And you gotta keep Ash out of school today, and you need to tell Peter exactly what I just told you. You need to seriously be careful. Okay? Come here. It's gonna be okay. Mom, I'm bored. We've been watching movies all day. I don't understand why I couldn't go to school today. I'm not sick. It's hard to explain, Ash. Where's Dad? Work. How about bedtime? Come on, Mom. I want to play a game. How about a tickle <laughs> fight? <laughs> Honey, we're gonna go play a game of hide and go seek. Why don't you go up and hide in your bedroom and count to 100 and I'll come right up, all right? Peter. Peter. Peter, I need to talk to you. Peter, he... I... He, uh... Who? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What? Honey. Honey, what are you sorry for? I love you. 
I know I pushed you into this somehow, but this is on you. Stay, Peter. Peter, no. Lily? Lily? Can you hear me? Peter. Ash, I am nowhere. I I mean he's ahead of me. Peter, Peter, he has to. Peter, just Ash, Peter. Peter, he has. Peter, it's Ellie. Um, listen, can you call me back? I have something I need to talk to you about. It's important. Edith? I was wondering if I could have that mask. You know, the one from the closet downstairs? Edith? Reminder to clean fridge before showing. Sends through death and time and comes back to you. Just like my rose in my bath. Her name is Lily, and her son's name is Ash. You're confused. You don't tell me! And? And what? Mrs. Jenkins said that he's taking a leave of absence. Really? I don't know how you got knocked out like that. You scared Ash half to death. Luckily, he's fine. He's going on a field trip, and he's excited about it. But, but I, I don't want to hear about it. You're imagining things, Lily. Grayson didn't take Ash. He hasn't been sneaking around our house. You're not being stalked by him. This is more like an affair gone bad. I love you, Lily. But I think you need to go and stay with your mother or something. I need to go for a walk, get some air. Still missing, but there's more than a dozen police officers looking for him now. What happened? He, he just he veered off the trail. He just he just disappeared. Who's chaperoning him? 
This isn't gonna help anything, okay? Calm down. Look, we tried contacting Peter, but he, he didn't answer. We gave the police his number. They're trying to call him now. Ma'am, your son is out there somewhere, okay? And we're gonna find him. Where's Grayson Kendall? The teacher. Where is Grayson? He's not here, Lily. Oh, you know what? It was, it was, it's him. Look, ma'am, we understand you're upset. We will find Ash, Mrs. Helms. You know what? You're not listening. Everyone is searching for him, Lily. Everyone? Clearly not. Peter, I'm at a cabin in uh, Old Lake Road in Grays County. I think he has ash. Please come. you make me do this? Rose. Rose, I, I want you back.
Maybe it's me. Rose. I love you. Rose. Rose, where did you go? No, I, I just saw you there. Rose! Rose! with you all over again. Two souls transcend. We're meant to be together. Don't you see? I'm not her. you tell me that I can't? She's here. And both of them are here. They came back for me. You, you don't know them. You aren't her. She is nothing. Nothing like you. She would never lie. Or cheat. Like you, you slut. My Rose loves me. No one can. No one. No one. Ash. Ash. She has Ash. We need to find Ash. You stay. You stay back. Come on. Let him go. I don't want to hear from you. This is my family. You hear me? My family. And you stay back. All right. Back. Grayson. Give me Ash. Just take me. Honey, what are you doing? It's me. You're a flower. Take me. I'm right here, honey. It's me and you. The 
the motel, remember? The lilies, remember? The lily for my rose. Oh. 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 Just me.